What is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Why am I talking so quick? I saw a scary statistic the other day which said that 68% of the people watching this video are not yet subscribed. So if you're not yet subscribed and you're watching the video, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is click the button down below and you'll be able to follow this story from seeing the rap today to seeing it on the car in the weeks to come. How much fun does that sound like? <laughs> this is going to be some people in the comments like, that sounds shit. <laughs> Is she? Carol Baskins. Carol Baskins here. <laughs> right, we're here to talk about the rap. So if you're new to the channel, I have an hour. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in Joe Exotic. <laughs> if you'd like to see my rap, I've got an Audi R8. All right. I'm lucky enough to own an Audi R8 V10 Plus manual and this video as you can probably tell by the title is about the wrap that I'm going to be doing on this car. We've spoken about it quite a bit on this channel before. Actually here's a little clip. Now depending on what wrap we end up going for I'm also going to change the wheels. So as you can probably tell I actually asked the audience to vote on preferences for the wrap whether that was a single color, a Le Mans inspired wrap, an old school what we call rust look wrap and in the end it was a bit of a tie between Le Mans and rust look. So we combined those and then we did a few other things which I'll talk to you about afterwards. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the wrap has come out. Before you guys see it, I'm just going to say, obviously, this is very U YouTube oriented. So the car has um, hashtags and everything all over it, photos of subscribers. This isn't what I do if it was just a car that I was driving to the shops and using as a daily driver. But obviously, this is a car I really wanted to share with the audience, which is why we've gone and done something a little bit more wild. So it's probably about time I show you. So any second now on the screen. There is my brand new wrap. So I'm showing you the designs now. Eventually this will get put on the car. It was actually meant to be put on the car about a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> right, sorry, very easy to shout. Obviously with uh, the virus that was no longer possible. So I have no idea when it's gonna happen anymore. It's currently in a gar garage RE performance in the UK and the guys who are gonna be wrapping it, I'm gonna put their Instagram here. They are gonna fly up to the UK whenever that is allowed to be able to put the wrap on the car. Until then, we're just gonna have to make do with these designs. I, you know, I was like, do, do I wait until the wrap is on the car? to show it to the audience or should I just share the design now so we can all kind of you know make the most of it talk about it maybe make a few changes before it goes on the car that's obviously what we decided to do now let's talk about the wrap itself as I mentioned we combined a lot of things so it is derived off this car which has obviously a race livery on it massive wing all that jazz and so we took that design and the colors so the black and the gold and put it into our idea of a design so we used some of the classic sort of R8 Le Mans shapes around the car. Obviously big R8 logo on the front hood as well. And we stuck with that gold theme. Now it's not chrome gold, it's actually matte gold. And that's because we then placed on top of that the rusty look. So the concept of it is it's a Le Mans race car styled theme to the wrap. And then we're making it look like it's just done the 24 hours of Le Mans. Is effectively the idea behind it. I don't know if that makes any sense. We've tried to combine quite a few things. So when you go, you know, that's obviously the front. As you get further through the car, you'll then see a big hashtag on the side, which is La Famille 18 Heures, which is what we call the uh, subscribers from our French audience. And so because they originally actually chose for me to buy this Audi R8, we decided to put a little, a little something for them on the side of the car. It's the hashtag we use now the most on Instagram, the most on YouTube. So it's a little throwback to them, but also so that people who see the car in the street or any who's wondering what the car is for has the hashtag straight away on the side of the car just under that the only piece of real color on the car is the well different than the gold is the b and get logo that's the logo of a company i set up four years ago and i just wanted to include the logo on the car so that it has its place there a lot of people often ask me what it is and i just thought i'd whack it there so anyone who's wondering where they could find b and get they know what the logo looks like so we've got b and get we've then also got the seb delaney fr text with a youtube logo which is the name of my french channel obviously and just seb delaney for the english channel which you're currently watching that is on the front windshield and then it gets really really interesting when you get round back, there are photos and there may actually be your photo there. So we put a video a few weeks ago that looks something like this. If you want your face to be on this R8, 
on the wrap and you be part of the story of this car, you just need to send a selfie to that email. You guys ended up being actually thousands to send photos in. So we had the French audience and the English audience that came together. And I think we got around 3000 emails in the end. So obviously we weren't able to unfortunately put every single photo. There were some pretty funny ones in there as well. We put the maximum amount of photos on the back of the car so that they were at a size where you could still see the photos. And that's to represent the subscribers of the two channels. So you may be on there. I don't know if you'll be able to spot yourself from those photos. If not, whenever we go to car meet or anything like that, you'll be able to look around the car, try and find your photo. Uh, and we try to include that in as smooth of a way possible to uh, the design of the car, which obviously is, is not easy to do because you're going from black and gold to black and white photos. So that was a little bit challenging, but I think the guys nailed it. We also had to find a way, obviously, when you put the photos on one side, face up so that when you look at them, they're, they're facing you. If you just keep that going all the way around the car, they'll end up upside down at the other side. So we added a few little lines, again, using the sort of Lamborghini Audi design face and design look to separate the photos on the back and on each side of the car so that they're always facing up. And then, yeah, round back, it just goes back a bit to the design that you've got around front of the car. But that is everything kind of put together. You know, Le Mans, rustic look, the gold and the photos. So they're all concepts which have been done before, but I don't think anyone's ever really merged them all together. So we wanted to try something new, something a little bit innovative. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's come out. Super excited to see it on the car. And yeah, I just think it's a really fun, different design, which will really stand out. So I'm pumped to see it. Now I know a few of you have probably noticed also rims. I don't know what photo you have in front of you right now, but there are four different options of photos of different kinds of rims. So you'll be able to see them on the screen. Now there's option one, two, three, and four. These don't mean anything in particular. The black rims are the stock RA V10 Plus wheels just tinted in black. And then the three others are just three fairly random choices from Z Performance or from Vossum that I put, you know, we had rendered up in gold because I think the gold wheels would go pretty well, gold or bronze, with the design of, of the wrap. I haven't ordered any wheels yet. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to order. So if you guys have any recommendations or anything like that, please let me know. Or if you have one of the your favorites out of these four images, which will be on screen now, put the number down below of which one you prefer. Do you prefer the black rims? Do you prefer a specific design of these different kinds of rims? Uh, that will probably be the next decision for this. So yeah, I'd love for you guys to comment down below and get involved in that decision now. Let me know what you think of the wrap, if there are any changes that you would do. I'm sure there'll be some people, oh, it's obviously, you know, fairly different. So I'm sure some people will love it. Some people will probably hate it, but I'm very happy with the way it looks. If you have any constructive criticism you wanna share on it, we're all ears, obviously, um, you know, it's not been printed out yet, so we can still make little changes, but yeah. Whoa, it feels good to have shared that with you. I only saw the images a few days ago myself, but I just wanted to get it out there and share it with you because uh, I think it'll be something really, really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to bang on too much longer about this, but uh, let us know down below in the comments what your thoughts are. There'll be plenty more videos and I guarantee you as soon as we can get the car wrapped, we'll be trying our very best to document that and show it to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Cheers and bye-bye.